What's up? This is Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater, and you're watching MPJ. tribute stuff too. I've heard that Dream Theater's done some special shows in the past where you've done, after your set, you do some kind of tribute. Things We've like done, uh, we had a tradition when we were doing an evening with Dream Theater uh, mm -hmm. a couple years ago, the, the tradition when we played two nights in the same city. The second night we would cover a classic album in its entirety, and we've done that four times now. We did uh, Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast, Metallica's Master of Puppets, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, and Deep Purple's Made in Japan. So all four of those have been uh, put out on our official bootleg site, so you can check them all out. Very cool. And do you have any others planned? Well, we're not doing the Evening with Dream Theater tour right now, so... Uh, so it's a one-time... Uh, well, you know, if and when we go back out as an Evening with Dream Theater, and we do a two-night stand, then then yeah, yeah, we'll continue that tradition. Right. But as of now, there's no tours like that in the works at the moment. Right. Um, and uh, right now you're doing the Iron Maiden tour, and then that finishes. Um, you did a thing with Avenged Sevenfold when their drummer passed away, unfortunately, and you jumped in to help them out. How did that all come about? Uh, they they asked me um, after the Rev died. Uh, I had been in touch with with M Shadows, their singer, and uh, just kind of you know told them how shocked and saddened I was, and said if there's anything I could do for you guys, you know, let me know. And I wasn't talking musically; I was just talking personally. Right. And then, sure enough, a few weeks later, they called and asked if I, if I would do the album. And I was honored to have been asked. Uh, I was glad that they wanted to make the record and and move on and uh, I you know, was more than happy to, to do whatever it took to, to help them out. So you're friends with them then too? Well now I'm especially good friends with them. I mean now I'm part of the family. But, well, uh, but before, before, before the Rev had died I had been in touch with M Shadows and with the Rev just via emails and texts and stuff like that. They were they were big Dream Theater fans, uh, uh -huh. Matt and, and Jimmy. So uh, they always talked about Dream Theater in the press. So me and, you know, me and those guys kind of just you know, kind of became friends from that. Through, from that, yeah. Very cool. And um, no, because you're you're on the new album that was. I think it's already out in the stores. That comes out July twenty seventh. Okay, so it's coming out. Yeah, it's um the nightmare. I think it's called. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of information that I found about it. Where I know they were in the middle of doing stuff with the album. Was it already started to be recorded, and then you took up from there, or did you? No, they the whole writing process. The the whole album was written. Uh, when Jimmy was alive and they had mm -hmm. just done demos f for the songs with Jimmy playing electronic drums mm -hmm. and uh, they were set they were about to begin properly recording the album and be doing recording the drum tracks when, when uh, the rep died so right. uh, so yeah I ended up playing on the whole album but it was written and Jimmy had done the demos before he had died right. That's very cool and um, I don't know if Avenged Sevenfold fans too out there. Um, I saw where they're actually releasing those demos too for the fans if they uh, want. Really? I would be shocked over that. I could but be wrong. I believe it was on their MySpace page and saying there was a limited amount. Uh, that could maybe you're right. I don't know. That's <laughs> news to me. I I I, I have a, I had thought that those demos were definitely going to be kept under lock and key, but maybe you're right. I don't know. Um, well. Uh, I hope I'm not starting rumors, but go and check. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, well, thank you very much for joining us. I know you got to probably get going here, um, but make sure you catch Mike, um, his new album, the or Dream Theater's newest album, The Black Cloud and the Silver Lining, and of course, catch him on Avenged Sevenfold's The Nightmare. Uh, remember, support your artists and buy their albums. This has been a video edition of Music Reporter Journal.